A House with a Clock in Its Walls, uh, directed by Eli Roth, stars Jack Black, Clay Blanchett, um, and the young boy that I cannot remember the name of was in uh, the Daddy Home movies, one of the, the son. Uh, but this movie basically follows the young kid and his uh, parents unfortunately pass away and he has to move in with his uncle that happens to be Jack Black, who is kind of like a wizard warlock character and his next door neighbor is Clay Blanchett and they're kind of pretty much going to start raising him, but they're very weird, they're very quirky, they're wizardry and all that shit's going on. Now, I didn't have high hopes for this movie. I thought this was weird. My biggest thing, I was like, all right, if Jack Black plays Doctor Strange, this is this is, this is is what we'd get. This is what we'd get. And that was my scope of the movie before I saw it. And then I actually did enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. The movie is very, very... I, I don't know what the word is, but I like the theme of the movie. I think... It does its job in a kiddie way for the most part. I think it tells a very kind of generic, fun-ish uh, story where it's like, all right, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, I'm not going to spoil anything, and it goes through very basic movements. And um, fair enough, it is based on kids. Um, but then it kind of takes a darker, scarier tone, and I like that, and I'll tell you why. Now, you might necessarily go, ooh, is it scary? I don't want to take my seven-year-old kid, my eight-year-old kid to this movie, and I'd probably say, yeah, fair enough, but I don't think... This is what it should be. These are the kind of things that kids should be watching, where it's like a horror for kids, where it's not scary. They're not going to be scarred by this, but they might be a bit little scared in the in the theatre, and I like that kind of movie. There's stuff like Goosebumps or Are We Afraid of the Dark. That's the stuff you should be watching. I think it makes a lot of my film fans come out of their shells when they're younger. I go, that's what I remember, and stuff like that when I was younger. That is this. I love this type of genre where it's you know, it's quirky, it's a bit funny, but it is a bit scary, and I really like that. That's why I love the movie Goosebumps. I think this movie is very similar to Goosebumps. I think it's a slight, slight downgrade on what Goosebumps did very well, but I think this movie maybe you might argue it's too scary. Um, for for the rating, but I, I did enjoy that aspect. Obviously, I'm a bit older, but I think this is what I... If I'm a parent, I'm taking my year kid to the movie and going, you might get scared a little bit, but that's that's what horror is, and that's a fun genre, and that you can enjoy it. The CGI, you know, take it or leave it. It's probably a bit, you know, not as good as you want it to be. Um, the performances, I think, were a lot of fun. I think Jack Black is pretty much Jack Black, but it, it works for this movie. I like Kate Blanchett as well. The kid was very good. You're kind of rooting for him. Um, which is good. The jokes don't always land, um, but you can't expect them to land every single time. I think this movie was a, a bit of fun. I definitely enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I definitely thought it was going to be a throwaway, shitty kids flick. I I did think it was a bit better, even though it does fall into that cliche kind of corniness um, towards the end of the movie or even at the start, but I think you can get over that and you can enjoy this movie a lot, and that's why I'm going to give A House with a Clock on its Walls a C+. Plus. Thank you for watching my review. Uh, if you liked it, you can press that subscribe button to keep coming back. Plenty of reviews coming. Finally got my lighting done. I'm very late with this review because, as I said, I haven't had lighting to amount of film. I think I've done like two videos in like the last month. Something ridiculous, but I'm back. Here we go. Reviews every day. Probably a bit shorter because I'm they're not as fresh in my mind. But anyway, press subscribe button, like it, comment, whatever you want to do. But of course, have a good one.